Welcome to today's video on how to sell and build AI agents, which is a growing trend that's revolutionizing industry by automating tasks, improving customer experiences, and providing valuable insights. Whether you are entrepreneur, developer, or business owner, AI agents are incredible tool that can help streamline operations and create new revenue streams. So guys, watch this video till the end if you want to learn more about it. Now before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got advanced executive program in Applied Generative AI with a two-day campus immersion at IIT Madras Research Park. You will get exposure to Agentic AI and MCP framework, master classes by IITM and IIT's faculty or alumni. Then you'll also get startup support from IITM Pravartak Technologies Foundation. And finally, you will also get the certificate. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. So guys, let us start with first understanding what are AI agents. AI agents are intelligent systems that are designed to perform tasks which makes decisions, improve their performance over time through learning and also without needing any continuous human intervention. These agents are programmed to act autonomously and can simulate intelligent behavior making them capable of interacting with their environment to achieve predefined goals. Now, so if you look at these things, this means that the AI agents revolves around these three things, the autonomy, learning and decision making. Let's understand each one of them one by one. So if I talk about autonomy, like this is one of the core features of AI agent. Autonomy means that these agents are capable of making decisions and taking actions without the need for constant oversight. Once AI agent is deployed, it can operate on its own, adjusting to new inputs and changing circumstances, just as a human might act on their own based on past experiences. The next one we have is learning. Learning is the ability of an AI agent to improve its performance over time by processing and analyzing data. And this is typically achieved through machine learning techniques where the agent refines its model as it encounters for more data. For example, a chatbot might get better at understanding customer queries after handling hundreds of conversations, learning which responses are most helpful and adjusted accordingly. And finally, we have decision making. AI agents are designed to process information, analyze it and make decisions, whether it's recommending products, providing customer support or managing workflows. AI agents can process vast amount of data and can make decisions that align with business goals or user needs. They don't rely on pre-programmed instructions. Instead, they apply logic and reasoning to make informed decisions improving over time. Now let us look at some of the examples of AI agents. So guys, to understand the real world application of AI agents, we have a few examples. The first one we have is chatbots and virtual assistants. Chatbots are AI agents that can engage in text-based or voice-based conversation with users. They are widely used for customer service, answering common queries, processing orders, or helping users navigate website. For example, many companies have chatbots on their websites that can answer customer service questions at a time of day, offering 24 cross 7 availability. The next one we have are called recommendation systems. So AI agent in the form of recommendation system, analyze a user's behavior, preferences, providing personalized suggestions. For example, guys, Netflix recommends movies based on your viewing history, while Amazon suggests products you may like based on previous purchases. These systems use algorithm that look at past interactions and find pattern that indicate what you might enjoy or need next. This personalization enhances the user experience, making it easier for customers to find what they're looking for without spending time browsing. So if I talk about a use case, guys, like in an e-commerce website, personalized recommendations can increase sales by showing products that are most likely to be purchased by individual users. And I hope so you would have the same shopping experience while using the application like Flipkart or Amazon. Then there are task automation agents. These are AI agents that can automate repetitive tasks, saving businesses time and improving efficiency. For example, AI can be used to automatically sort and categorize email processes or schedule meetings. 
These agents work behind the scenes to streamline workflows and ensure that time-consuming manual tasks are taken care of automatically. For example, guys, in a customer service, AI can handle routine queries, allowing support agents to focus on more complex customer issues, leading to quicker response times and satisfied customers. Now, guys, let us discuss a bit about this, choosing the right type of agents. To start building AI agents, it's crucial to first understand the different types of AI agents based on their functionality and intended application. The first one that we have all over here is called conversational AI. Conversational AI agents are designed to engage in a human-like interaction either via text or voice. The most common examples are chatbots and virtual assistants, which can handle customer service inquiries or personal tasks. Next we have is data-driven agents. These AI agents leverage large data sets to make decisions and provide predictions or recommendations. They are driven by data patterns and are often used in marketing, finance, and e-commerce to make personalized suggestions. You can find this in recommendation systems commonly used by Netflix or Amazon, like to suggest movies, shows, products based on their past behavior. Then, in the predictive models, which are used in industries like finance or marketing, these agents predict customer behaviors, market trends, or financial risk based on historical data. Now, when to use this model, guys? You have to choose data-driven agents when the goal is to provide personal user experiences or predict future trends. And finally, we have automation agents. These agents automate repetitive rule-based tasks, making work more efficient and reducing human error. They are not designed to interact with users, but instead it focuses on streamlining operations. Now, if you think about what can be the use cases for automation agents, guys. So, for example, in the scenario of scheduling, AI agents can automatically schedule meetings or appointments based on the user's calendars and preferences. Then there is data entry. AI agents can handle routine data entry tasks such as filing out forms, categorizing information or updating databases. And we have workflow management also. AI can help coordinate and manage workflows by routing tasks and information across different systems, ensuring smoother operation. Now when to use this guys? You can choose automation agents for back office applications or when you need to optimize workflows or streamline repetitive tasks. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding the type of agents. Now, let us move ahead and try to understand about core technologies and tools. Because building an AI agent requires familiarity with tools, frameworks and technologies that enable creation of smart and adaptive systems. If we talk about the first one guys, we have TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a powerful open source framework primarily used for deep learning. TensorFlow is ideal for building AI models that require significant amount of data and complex computations. Next one we have is PyTorch. It is another popular open source framework especially preferred by researchers and developers for building dynamic neural networks. It's known for its flexibility and ease of use in deep learning. And finally we have OpenAI's GPT, which is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It is like a state-of-the-art language model that excels in tasks like natural language generation, text completion, and conversational AI. And GPT can be used to build chatbots, virtual assistants, and many more. Now, if we talk about APIs and platform, so we all know that application programming interfaces and platforms are also very much essential for developing and deploying and also integrating AI agents. The first one that we have all over here is called Dialogflow a popular platform by Google for building chatbots and voice assistants. It provides natural language understanding and integrates easily with Google services. Next one we have Rasa, which is an open source conversational AI framework that provides both machine learning and rule-based components for building chatbots. Rasa is known for flexibility and can be self-hosted, giving you full control over the data. And finally, we have BotPress, another open source conversational AI platform that helps you build, manage, and deploy AI-powered chatbots. It's designed for building enterprise-grade bots with rich functionality. Now, guys, let us discuss about the AI agent development process. Building AI agent involves several phases, from collecting data, choosing the right models, to, to continuously improving the system. Let's break it down one by one. First, we have data collection. Now why it's important guys, because AI agents need data to learn from and also to make decision. Whether it's customer conversations for a chatbot or transaction histories for recommendation system, the quality and quantity of data directly impact the agent's performance. 
You would find this in conversational data like for building chatbots or virtual assistants like conversational logs. Now for this you would require conversational data, task data like for example historical data like task completion, customer requests etc. The next step is model selection and training. Choosing the right model is very very much important because the model you select depends upon the type of AI agents you are building. For example, a conversational AI you might use pre-trained language model like GPT or a more task specific model trained on your data. Like for a recommendation system, collaborative filtering, content based filtering or deep learning models might be used. Then you need to train the model. So the model is trained on your data to learn patterns. And this is done through a process called supervised learning. I hope so. You would have heard about supervised or unsupervised learning during machine learning. Now, the third thing that's very, very much important is integration. Now, once AI agent has been developed and trained, it needs to be integrated with existing systems such as CRM systems, communication platforms, or it can be enterprise tools. And finally, we have performance evaluation and iteration. Now, building AI agent is actually an ongoing process as performance can always be improved. Now, there are metrics that evaluate the effectiveness of AI agents, like accuracy, which measures how well your AI agent can perform a task. Then there is user engagement, which tracks how users interact with your agent. Then we have response time. So in real time applications like customer service bots, so we look into the aspect like how quickly does the agent respond to the users. The speed is often the key factor in the user satisfaction. And finally, after this all things is done, then there is continuous improvement through feedback loops because there is a process of feedback collection which gives us feedback from users whether through surveys, direct interaction or analyzing users behavior. Then there is retraining the model. As more data becomes available or as performance starts to degrade, it's important to retrain the model regularly to keep them updated. And finally you have versioning meaning releasing updated versions of your AI agents based on new models, features and improvement. So this was a short snapshot of the AI agent development process. Now let us discuss about where to sell your AI agents. Now guys, to successfully sell AI agents, you need a robust marketing plan to increase visibility and also attract potential customers. Like for example, you are doing content marketing. And the purpose is to establish leadership in the AI space and educate potential customers on the benefits of AI agent. So what can be the types of content like blogs? Okay. And also you have to tell about case studies. You need to showcase successful implementations of your AI agents. You need also white papers like create in-depth report on the state of AI in your industry to position your company as an expert. Then you need paid advertising like you could go for Google ads. So if you talk about Google ads, you can target industry specific keywords related to AI agents to drive traffic to your website. You can also select LinkedIn ads and also Facebook ads. Then you need networking and partnerships like collaborating with influencers, conferences and webinars. And also you need to go in the industry communities. Join online forums, social media groups, and communities where potential customers gather. Now I'm gonna show you the AI agentic marketplace. So you could sell your AI agents on ServiceNow store. So, so this is a comprehensive marketplace featuring AI agents tailored for various industries, enabling seamless integration and deployment within enterprise environments. There is trusted integration, domain specific AI agents, and there are solutions designed to enhance enterprise productivity. You could also go in the Snowflake marketplace. So guys, Snowflakes also offers a range of agentic native apps that integrates seamlessly with Snowflake's data cloud facilitating the creation and deployment of AI agents. You can access to the third party agentic products, real time data integrations and tools for building AI driven applications. So you can also look onto this. And finally guys, we have one of the most amazing AWS marketplace.
Now, AWS Marketplace hosts a variety of AI solutions, including Vivid Cloud's Agentic AI for information retrieval, which is kind of designed to enhance internal information and retrieval process. Now, there are certain key features, guys, like React AI platform, conversational interfaces, real-time information retrieval capabilities. So you can also explore this. So guys, these are some of the marketplaces where you can start building your AI agents. And um, this was all for today's video, guys. I hope so. You would have got a brief idea regarding AI agents and also how you could sell them. Thank you guys for watching this video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.